The details haven't even been worked out yet, and the battle between Chicago Public Schools and the Teachers Union has begun. The challenge of opening schools is huge, but CPS says it can do it safely, but there's just not a concrete plan yet. The Teachers Union released a report this week with protocol it believes will create the lowest risk for students and staff. It includes specific guidelines from the CDC, testing and contact tracing, uh, emphasis on hygiene and social distancing, along with staggered start and dismissal times. In a Zoom meeting this morning, teachers and union leaders said they need more time. I love my job. I love my students, and if it were up to me, I would return in the fall. But it's not up to me. It's up to the virus right now, and we know that it's unsafe. Our classrooms are not big enough for to accommodate even students within the CDC guidelines in order for us to have a safe um, environment for our students. It, it's it's not it's not going to happen. CPS responded this morning saying a preliminary framework for the new school year will be introduced this week to gain feedback from students, parents and staff. But a decision on the potential for in-person instruction will not be made until closer to the school year when we can fully assess the public health situation at that time. So there are so many moving parts that the union doesn't feel like numbers, uh, members and students will be adequately protected. So right now CTU believes remote learning is the best option if you need to make a decision right now for the fall.